Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Where are we? We are back in Satisfactory. For the first time in a really long time, I checked and it was uh, December of 2013. No, not 2013. Wow, that would have been bananas. <laughs> 2023. So it's been eight months or so since we've been back in Satisfactory. Joel does words. It's a good thing I don't talk for a living. Uh, if you're new to the channel, I spend quite a bit of time in Satisfactory when the game gets updates and when we have an opportunity to uh, do some work in here. Uh, I've been focusing a lot on Minecraft the last little while with the latest release coming out as well as trying to finish up in West Hill. But uh, Satisfactory is getting a 1.0 release and that is happening on September 10th, which is two weeks from today. So mark it on your calendar. I'll be streaming on September 10th. Uh, probably a fairly long stream, I would imagine. Um, but it's uh, it's something I think that will be uh, a lot of fun because the 1.0 release will come with a story. Uh, there's a lot of updates, including some, uh, some what's the word I'm looking for? Not efficiency. Uh, optimization updates. Uh, things are a little sketchy. We've got a pretty big factory going here and I unfortunately have noticed some of my frame rates are not what I thought they would be. So uh, we have to be careful here. Uh, I'm gonna zoom down to the other end here just so you can see what's going on with the factory. So this is, for anybody that's listening or watching later, a, uh, a factory puzzle game. You kind of have freedom to build not whatever you want but certainly a lot of freedom of creativity and choice and uh, we've got a really big factory here in the north desert the northern desert or the the not the dune desert the rocky desert i guess as they say uh, and we've been kind of modeling it after devastator which is the uh, transformer combiner so if i take a look see if this still works it does so this is the transformer that we've been modeling this after. That's why there's a lot of green and purple hanging out. Uh, you can sort of see the design in like these two big struts here sort of look like his kneecaps or his upper thighs a little bit. So we're just kind of taking some design language from Devastator and applying it to the factory. And we've got a bunch of stuff going on. Now, the thing is, a lot of these nodes... Do I remember how to zoom in? I used to remember how to zoom in. Hmm. I'll have to figure that out later. Is it photo mode? Photo mode. There we go. Uh, these nodes that spit out the iron ore. You can see the iron ore working along the belt there. It looks like it's going backwards, but it's actually going forwards. Uh, those nodes, as well as other nodes in the area have probably been changed in one of two ways, uh, or two of two ways. Uh, they will perhaps change location and also change quantity or quality. The amount of ore that they're spitting out will potentially change. So we're probably going to have to recalculate a lot of what's going on, which is, which is not great. So that'll be a challenge <laughs> because this... This factory is is really this entire map. Like, it's this whole valley. This whole, whole valley there. Uh, what else do we need to, to look at? Uh, we're also going to be going to our factory in the north, which you can't see. But that where that space elevator is, that's where our original starter factory is. And I'm going to make a note as to what we are making, what we are uh, not making... Uh, what we're making here that we no longer have to make there, that kind of thing. There's a few things I'd like to delete. We want to clean up the save as best we can and see if we can't make it a little bit more streamlined. Ah, I forgot about all the trains. Very, very cool. So we've got trains coming into the train stations, dropping off different cargo. But it all seems to be still working. I'm not seeing anything that's really in dire straits. Uh... Alistair 2. Is it Alistair or Alistair? Is it just a, a different way of spelling Alistair? Uh, thank you. Yeah, I play Satisfactory 2. It's been a while. As I mentioned at the top of the stream, it's been about... What did I say? Eight months? So 
we do have the hyper tube system to get us around. And uh, this one should take us to the right hand side here. So this floor has got a bunch of basic stuff on it. This is all plates. Anything that you see that's orange is temporary. So this stuff is all just filling up. So I have plates, rods, and screws at the ready. So we have kind of like a basic basic go-to for storage there. And then as we've got higher, I've done more work decorating the floors. They're all painted. The machines are all different colors. But these are all being sent off to other places. These are all being sent on their way down into the main the main guts of everything. Got a screw level. Those don't appear to be doing anything. I wonder why they're not working. Interesting. Why? Hmm. They should be making screws. Where's the inputs for these? That's the input there. No, that's the output. Here's the input. Inputs are on the bottom. Somewhere. I wonder if I reallocated the input somewhere. Huh. Where, oh, where, oh, where? Yeah, that's the input there. So this is... That's input. That's output. Where's the input coming from? Okay. So that's going to go down below. That doesn't go from anywhere. Oh, there it is here. It's on the side. Okay. Found it. <laughs> this is what I mean. Aha! It is not hooked up. <laughs> that would be a problem. Yeah, I've obviously... 32 constructor input. Right. Okay. So there's obviously some iron has been rerouted. <laughs> there's a bunch of stuff that needs to get fixed. That's for sure. So this stream is going to be a lot of that. Me going, how does this work again? What does it do? Uh, don't worry, we have spreadsheets. So in case you're wondering, we do have a drive sheet. I will warn you now, I will very likely leave this up by accident. So if anybody wants to use channel points to like ping me or give me a notification in chat to say like, Joel, the thing that you have on screen is blocking everyone's view. By all means, let me know. Uh, I will do my best to remember to turn it off though. So a lot of what we're producing is coming through the main bus here, and then eventually it just gets siphoned off into the building that it is required to be um, manufactured in or changed in. And then it gets brought back out as a different item and then moved down along the belts. You can sort of see some of the exchanges there happening. I don't know. Don't know where we left off. I feel like we were working on wire maybe. In my guess. I'm not going to be doing a lot of building today. There's going to be a lot of um, walking around and see if we can figure out what we need to be to be building here. I'm pretty sure we're not building computers or anything plastic related. We're making a lot of wire though. I've been holding off on a lot of the decoration as well. Uh, because, of course, I want to wait for all of the new buildables that are going to be in 1.0. I do remember we were working on steel. I can take the hyper tube. I think I was working on trying to place where the steel was going to go. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm vaguely remembering the rough layout here. What we had to do for steel. I'm curious to remember what I was doing over on this side, though. I feel like upstairs we had a lot going on. Forty assemblers, eighty modular frames, and that's going to heavy modular frame production. Heavy modular frame production is happening here. So we are making those. Okay, good. I remember doing this. And at the moment, we are storing them or destroying them. That's plates. Right now, we are destroying them. I thought that I was storing them somewhere. Maybe I have. Maybe I have a, a container of them already. If I have enough of them. Oh, wait a minute. Aha! <laughs> right there in front of me. Again, anything orange is temporary. So you can see the orange stuff is, is not part of the machine. So we've got probably a smart splitter here. Yeah. Fill the basket first and then send the rest overflow. Cool. Let's check our storage and see what it's going to be like here. It has been a long time. It's one of those games where like you you can really forget what's been going on. Oh yeah, we've got a bin here too. Okay. Solid. I do not have the best storage system. This has all been um, kind of allocated as temporary, so we're going to be moving this at some point. Lots of encased beams. Got lots of those. Plastic we do not have much of. I feel like the plastic is probably on the train. Decent amount of concrete. I feel like we've got, again, more concrete elsewhere. Plates. We've got another thing of plates. We've got plenty of those. Lots of those. We're in pretty good shape, you know? I thought this was going to be a lot worse. Crystals. Dyes and flowers. Stuff. Okay, so we're getting, we're a little low on on steel pipes. Did I see? Oh, I see some over here. Just a few. All right, so steel pipes. It looks like plastic and steel beams are what we were kind of light on. I didn't see any rubber. We're not storing rubber anywhere that I can see. Probably in one of these. I know where we can get more, so that's fine. Yes. Okay. So we don't need... Any ores. Alright. Let's go see the train. Because I have a storage train. We'll see what I've got.
I forgot how much fun the hypertube network is. So we've got the orange construction train here. So we're looking for the steel products as well as plastic and rubber. There's plastic, so we're good there, and we got some steel. So we got lots of steel pipes, not so much on the steel beams. I might have to take this train to go get some steel beams. Oh, there's some steel beams. There's some rubber. So we don't have a ton of everything, but we certainly have enough to keep us afloat. And there's some steel beams there. Okay. So we're good. We don't are we're not super low on anything. Thanks for the lurk, Blast Jordan. Appreciate it. Can I move some of these? That's just the same, some overflow. Where was the rubber? In there. The movement keys are coming back to me pretty quick. It's the it's the menu keys and stuff that I keep on pressing Minecraft hotkeys. <laughs> trains are so cool. And weirdly, I feel like my mic is hotter on this OBS save. I don't know why. So let me know if I'm coming in a little bit too too loud. I can't imagine why it would be different on one one OBS scene collection than another. It's the same profile. Okay. West Coast Oil, West Devastator. So as far as our inventory goes, I feel like we're in pretty good shape. What were we making back here? This is just... This is making rotors. Temporarily. And this was making... Radio control units? Turbo motors. Wow. wonder what I needed turbo motors for. Oh no. Radio control units. This was all just temporary to manually make stuff. I'm not going to be doing any progress because all of that's going to change with the new 1.0. And this is all out of our reach anyway. Cool. Yeah, so I'll do all that when 1.0 comes out. Same thing with the awesome sync and any tickets we have. We'll just leave that be. So I guess the thing is to go through my production lines here and see what we're actually making. I feel like I was working on this side last, so we'll double check. So we know we've got a lot of copper happening down here. I'm not entirely sure where it's going, but I usually leave myself little notes in signs 
60 minutes south to all clad sheets, 540 minute to main bus not allocated, and then 600 per minute to main bus not allocated. Okay. So that is all going upstairs. No, that's that's incorrect. I feel like that's 300 per minute to main bus, 60 minute to all clad sheets. Yeah, that's old. That's out of date. Because these do not appear to be taking anything. They are hooked up though. At least I think they are. Yeah. So the main bus is over here. And this is being connected up. So that is taking a full 300. Why is it coming back down? Is it being split up top? That would be my guess. Oh, that's coming from something else entirely. So that is... Both of these lines are going straight upstairs. This other one is actually coming from over here. All clad sheets. So my signs need updating. So this is the kind of confusing stuff that I needed to, um, needed to work on. So, 60, 240. So 240 is going to wire. So 200 is going to wire. I'm going to have to check the sheet for that. Where are we anyway? Usually I number these. Well, there's one, two, three. Okay. So we're looking for number three. So if I go to my sheet, I might be able to sort this out. Uh, we are in the South Lake Smelting. Okay. And copper three. It's impure, untapped, and it's going 60 a minute. That seems like not what's happening. Aluminum production. Self lit copper refinery via main bus. 60 pure copper ingots. Okay. Pulling from the main bus where 1200 per minute currently flowing. This may have to go a separate route where little, so little is needed. Right. It's a it's a weird thing to put on the main bus. Squeal it, hello, hello. Okay. So copper number three. Let's find out where you get your stuff from. You're coming in from the top. That is a full belt.
Is that also copper number three on the map? So essentially, why is this not letting me switch? Sorry, I can't alt tab back into satisfactory for some reason. Oh, there we go. Auto save. Uh, map. And then we've got all of my copper nodes are numbered. There's copper number two. That's not from Devastator. That's from Fields. That is copper number one. Copper number two. Where's copper number three? Is that you over here? Seven. That's copper number three. Are we bringing that all the way over? So that makes sense then, I guess, that copper number three is impure and untapped. I'm just gonna change this. Okay. We've got one and two are doing smelting. So where hmm. One and two are going upstairs. Know that much. Old belt not hooked up. Roger that. Scavenger and 600 per minute. That's copper one and copper two. Okay, so that's going to... All going to reinforce iron plates. Ah, I have found where that's coming from. This is all the refinery copper. Okay, found it. So we were up here farther down on the spreadsheet. Uh, everything I've got allocated is based on where it is on the map. So Rocky Desert West resources num numbered north to south. Rocky Desert South resources numbered east to west. Um, that should, is it east to west or west to east? South is 14, 15... I think that should be five, seven. I think I've got this backwards. No, in some cases I've gone left to right. That's weird. Thanks for the lurk, squeal it. Appreciate it. Something else we can go around and do is pick up these uh, drop pods. Okay. So 
So this is saying it's sending something to all clad sheets from copper number three. What I should do is go find where the all-clad sheets are getting their copper and backtrack from there. Oh, I guess I was supposed to get out there. Whoops. That is aluminum scrap, so I need to go upstairs. Do I still have stairs over here? I do. Excellent. This is the scrap, and they are making ingots. And the ingots are going next door. And they are making casings. There's the sheets. So we're making sheets and casings. And here's the copper. So that's the copper that I need. Where are the casings going? Back out to the main bus, it looks like. Everything's going back out here. And there they are down there. Okay. That copper was coming up at 60 per minute. And it looks like everything is working efficiently. Nothing's backed up. You guys are going into these machines and you're making the all-clad aluminum sheets. Okay. So it's this, this culprit right here is where we need to track. I mean, it looks like it's working. I just need to update those signs. There you are there. Man, I did a pretty good job making this look cool. And at least we can see. So there is extra coming. Uh, there's more coming on this line than needs to be on this line. Fair. Okay. question is, how far back do you start? You start right there. So even though there's nothing on that, coming in from here. So you are on the left which is the middle. So it is 300 per minute because that's a mark four and that does three or 80. What does that do? 40. So that's why it doesn't look full. It's because it's, it's capable of doing a lot more. So 300 per minute for main bus. So what I need to do is figure out where that's coming from. So that's going up top. I think that's leading us towards this machine over there. So that sign is incorrect is correct, I think. It's just misleading because it looks like these are connected somehow, but they're not. There is the downspout. So it's coming in from over there, which is 
this guy right here. I'm starting to remember this now. Right, so that is coming in from there. Ah, so it's not from over there. It's coming from this one. Yeah, this is a classic, uh, I updated the belts and did not update the signs. That's what's happening. So that is bay number two. No, that's bay number one, because the, the output from bay number one is what's making this, and this is 30 smelters, 900, that's the whole bay. I'm going to copy this and stick this here. Two stitched iron plates. So that is not where that's going. This is the lowest one, so that's coming from the scavenger train. Grandpa Crafter, hello, good to see you. Time to take a look at this sheet again. So we've got heavy modular frames. That's the main bus. Green Valley. Cable storage. So that needs to be updated for sure. Green Valley is scavenger. So the greens are the trains. Western Slope resources. Red Forest Carrier Lake. Okay. So. This says it's copper number seven. That is not what's going to aluminum. Aluminum production. So, South Lake Refinery, Copper Refinery, be a main bus, Devastator Resources tab. So that's not what we want to have there. That is going to be, we have to do, that's actually going to be Green Valley Resource tab. That's what sent me on the wrong goose chase. This is South Lake Copper Refinery. Did I ever start giving these numbers anywhere? Floor one, floor two, yeah, okay. So, production. I guess this will be Technically, I guess this is floor one. It's 
So we're sending 600. Just to double check my math. No, 300. So that is not what's happening there. And that is going to aluminum. I think the idea was that I may eventually want to increase the aluminum production. So then that leaves 240 going to an awesome sink somewhere. I think. So I'm going to go track that down. Yeah, past Joel not updating the signs is not helpful. <laughs> not helpful at all. I guess I can just drop down out here the old-fashioned way. So there is the copper going in on the right speed belt. So what we need to do is figure out where the rest of it goes. But I've got a, an awesome sink array. Uh, I need to come up with a better name for it. Oh, what? Oh, that's just being added to. Okay. So we've got aluminum sheets are also on this belt. Oop. So once we get into the bowels here, a lot of this stuff just gets sent over to these garbage belts, which is what looks like is happening here. There's our ingots. They are being onboarded into this, and yes. So we've got a bunch of these awesome sink grinders back here that are just destroying all this stuff and making tickets. Just to kind of keep the factory moving so we can detect any, any problems. And this is all being grinded to dust here. Just a few printable coupons. Just a few. We will have a lot of fun unlocking all the stuff in the 1.0 update. Okay, so that means that those signs that I had are incorrect. Do I have my little running pad down here? I used to have a belt that I could run along down here to get back. I'm not sure if I still have it. I don't think so. That looks like a dead end. Does not look like I still have it. All right. So I'll come back down here and fix those signs. But right now, that is confirmed we know that's what happened that's what's happening so
So, on our sheet, we've got, yeah, we need a little bit more room here to really describe what's going on. So the source is the refinery, or the South Lake Refinery. So that is Scavenger that's bringing that in. So that's, it is copper number one as far as the Green Valley is concerned. And so people know what I'm talking about. There are biomes in the map. They don't show them on this map, but this here is the Green Valley. And that is copper number one, even though it's not showing up as a, there you go. Copper number one overclocked to 300 per minute. Devastator via scavenger. Scavenger is the train. So, uh, do I have an image, I wonder, in my stills of the map? Does this still work? Hey, look at that. So it's hard to see, and you're not going to be able to see it on my on the screen. I can't use the pointer on it, but uh, the Green Valley is right along that inlet. You can see, maybe if I zoom out here, I'll try to line this up. Is that close? Sort of. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, there we go. You can sort of see that's where the Green Valley is. That's that's pretty, pretty close to scale. So, what we want to do for m future Joel uh, is make sure that this copper here, number one, normal, Mark two at two hundred fifty percent is making. 300 per minute, and that's going on the train. A platform says 800 per minute, so we have to check that. Uh, South Leg Copper Factory. I'm going to add a note here to say smelting bay number one. 10 smelters doing 300 ingots per minute, and then the rest of this is incorrect. Uh, none of that is happening. So what we'll do is change that. So this goes to the main bus. And I don't remember what belt it's on. I started mapping the main bus, and ooh, this is gonna be tricky. Have I actually done this to scale? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then there's center. So there's threes, and then there's the center, and then there's threes. So, does that track? Yep. Okay, so we're on third row. One, two, third from the top. Third row, third from the top. So we are copper. I guess I should say ingots specifically. And so then on the Green Valley tab, we can go main bus. What would we call that? Bus number 11? 
or belt 11. I've obviously numbered these incorrectly, 9, 10, 11, 12. Belt, yeah. Belt 11. And that is not going there. So we've got, this is going to be all clad sheets and that's easy to grabs we've got aluminum production all clad aluminum sheets that is where that goes Actually, this will go there. And what we'll do here is we'll grab the amount that's going in. Which is 60. And then we've got the remainder, which is 240. And that is going to an awesome sink. Now, uh, do I want to say that it's going to a specific awesome sink? I'm not sure if I've, I've called that like the awesome sink array or anything. Doesn't look like it. It's all right. Maybe we'll start something new. Trash bin? No, that's totally what it is. Yeah. I, I'm trying, especially because there's going to be a lot of new people coming in and, and watching the, the game. I'm trying to use the real names for things just so that it's not confusing. If I call it a trash bin and people are asking where the trash bin is, you know, like where, how do you trash stuff? Because there is a trash bin in your inventory, right? So like, I, I want to try to be clear on that. So that is going to be the aluminum production tab. And so we've got... Um, this is actually coming from the main bus. Forgetting all my hotkeys for Google Drive. So floor one, bay one, and that's outlined in the green valley resources tab. So we've got pure copper ingots. Um, so that has been, that yellow note has been addressed and then that's all being sorted. Okay. Cool. Uh, and that works out quite well because it is time for my first break. So we are going to... Oh, I usually break in satisfactory when the sun goes down. Although I could use a break right now. So we're probably going to power through. Don't think we're close. The sun went down shortly after I started. Oh yeah, we're not close. Okay. Uh, normally what I do is I grab a train. I don't know if the brake train is anywhere nearby. Breaker is parked. Okay. I 
Hopefully this will work. Fazu Battlecaster, great to see you. Is it wrong that nerd was the first thing that came to mind when I saw the spreadsheets on Satisfactory Stream? No. No, I'm a total nerd. I like to say that I am a well-rounded nerd. The kind of nerd that's fun to talk to at parties. I think podcasting helps a great deal with that, actually. And West Coast Oil, West Devastator. I think I want West Devastator. Yeah, West Coast Oil would have been way the heck down there. Ooh, Break Train, do you still have your stuff programmed in? Uh, Forward Reverse... Train menu. Construction 2 and Devastator Hub. Edit timetable. Oh, Megatron's on there too. Sweet. Turn on self-driving. Enjoy the break, folks. Uh, you're going to get to ride the train. I'm going to grab myself a glass of water. And we'll be back in about uh, five or six minutes.
So obviously OBS has had some changes <laughs> in the last little while. Because my, my go, go to break screen was a little bit messed up. <laughs> I'm surprised that the brake train was here waiting for me, honestly. I am surprised. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I checked it all before I started the stream today, so I'm not sure why it was so different. So, yeah. Nope. No, no, no. I forgot that that happens. Why does that happen? Like, there's not enough momentum in this other tube. That one's fine. Okay, we still have a couple of signs to change over this way. What do the lights in the tracks do? I understand sort of the ones that are at the stations. The lights in the tracks. I don't know what you mean. Along the train ride. Where do you mean like the the lights that I was that you drive over? Those? Is that what you mean? That thing? Uh, there are green and red signal lights. Oh, so those are path signals. So essentially, only one train can occupy a length of track at a time. And so you have to chop up your track into paths and blocks. And blocks are for intersections I think so you can see um, I zoom in here so from from this green light heading uh, right to left so heading in that direction 
You can see there's a green light there, and then there's a green light there, and then there's another green light there. So on the right-hand side of the track, all three of those blocks are open. If there was a train in this block, then that would be red. And then no other train could come in because then they would collide. And so it's less of a thing on your straightaways and more of a thing when you've got the trains going through um, intersections. Actually, when we get up top, I'll show you because you, you can see the train intersection from the top of the factory. Um, so that is not what's happening here anymore. Refinery Bay 1. And so we get a look at the refinery bays now. That's just not happening. Do we have three refinery bays or just two? Two, three, four. Plus a five that is not hooked up. Okay. So what I'll do... Is probably... Nudge these signs a bit. just change select the image none oh is that just uh, parts equipment other I have to change the kind of sign this is I think Yeah. Can you not put a number on a small sign? Oh, I know what I'm forgetting. Layout. There we go. Perfect. Uh, now we are going to do. I guess I should do 01. And maybe we'll switch it. That looks like what we have. And so we'll go... Just top to bottom probably makes the most sense. brain and the hotkeys. Uh, you don't have to have signals that close. No, you don't. No, you don't. Uh, I was putting them 
I don't remember why I was putting them that close. Someone, I think it was Bits recommended that if you if you're planning on having a lot of trains going, then you should try to have as many signals as possible because it increases or it decreases the wait time. I just, how do I? I'm trying to remember what the delete key is. F. Thank you. So that was on the bottom, and that was, I think, one and two. So what's this? That is bay number... Three and four together. So this is number one. And it is all the bottoms, and it's being combined with number two. That's good. Straightforward. And that is going, I want to say that's 600. Now we have to figure out where it's going. Shortcuts are on the screen. Thanks, Sandy. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, I think part of it is that I'm mad that I don't remember, you know? Yeah. It was last year. Give me a break. So that's those two um, things going up. What was on the right or the left? Distracted by moderator helping in chat. Jeez. Okay, that is on the left. And then three and four are probably combining on the right. So on the left. Do, 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 do. And it looks like the left just keeps on going. That is all feeding. All of these wire cable machines. Okay. And these are five. Yeah. I just kind of did them in the way that makes the most sense. Not what lines up numerically. So one and two go to five and six. Uh, and then don't know what bay this is. The next floor down is probably base. Yeah. Two. 1A. <laughs> Jeez. 1A? <laughs> really? I had to do 1A? 3. 4. Okay. Got signs on the ground here, too. Awesome sink, top floor. don't know why that's 1A.
Because there's no one B. <laughs> I do like this design though. Basically they all spit the item out under the floor and then it gets combined and looped around. And it just looks really cool. You thought I was counting in hexadecimal? No. No, I'm counting in past Joel, which is not always the most helpful. So that was one and two sending, what is that? Mark five. So that's 600 per minute, right? Yeah, 600 minute, and that's going to... Uh, was it 5 and 6? It was 5 and 6. Perfect, thank you. We'll go 05 and 06 to be consistent. Although I think I've done the 01 here and then I've just done the number one upstairs. Okay, so then we can just do this here. And that should be another 600 a minute. This is making 37.5. I think there are eight of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three hundred coming out of number three and three hundred coming out of number four. We all operating at a hundred percent efficiency. We are. So that is just the same thing, just different bays. I want to say it was two and three. But I'll double check it. So that was going up on the right. You come in here. And you get split immediately. And you're going down that way. Right? And then this goes along here. Zigging and the zagging. And goes in there. So not that. Yes, two and three. This is something else entirely. Six hundred per minute stators and rotors. This is being used in iron plates. Um, two stitched iron plates, and then we've got. 600 per minute, 10 plus 10 behind. So these are also, uh, I was probably gonna call this one B. We're just gonna call this one. So 
So we've got 10 here. So these are also going to uh, stitch iron plates. Where's the output here? I see them. Where are they going? Up. They're going up. I'd say they're going up and out. That is some tricky clipping right there. Hard to track. So that is going that way. All of this is underneath the floor, so that's cool. And I believe they meet up with their friends. Why are you going to an awesome sink? Obviously this is just temporary for me to keep this thing rolling. But why are why are some of these that are supposed to be going to sheets? Oh, this is the top floor. I'm looking at the top floor. I need to go back downstairs. It's the problem with making identical looking floors. There we go. You are joining your friends. That comes down, these go around, and they go out to the main bus. And this is... 30, there's 10 of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 600 a minute, and 600 a minute plus 10 plus 10 behind. Yep, okay, so that's 1200 a minute going to stitched iron plates. So there's no waste on these first two bays, which is which is great. Uh, I might as well leave that there. Although five and six are probably different now. There is no five and six, it's just five. And five's not hooked up. You realize when you see this that when 1.0 is out, out, you need to write down what's going on? Yeah, totally. All right, so I had this right the first time. This is just a five. Uh, that is... I believe this is the same. I believe it's another eight. It's just not hooked up. I don't remember why I never finished this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't remember where this was supposed to be getting its material from. It's a real sketchy job underneath, that's for sure. But I've got no ore for this at all. Nor do I have the water. Okay. Not hooked up. What do we say? Not hooked up, not active, not hooked up, I guess. The old autosave delay. I'm 
not hooked up. We'll change the color. Looks kind of funny floating, but whatever. I'd rather have the note in the world than not. Uh, you are correct. It would be 300 per minute. Thank you. So let's just double check the sheet. Make sure that this is right. These are from the Devastator resources. Not allocated. Copper number seven. 32 refineries. I think the idea is that I actually have enough water and ore coming in that I could make more somehow. That's right. Uh... None of this is at all correct. So this is just all wrong now. These go... upstairs. I think that's right. Two, three, five, six. That is going to be instructors. Pretty sure that's what that was doing. I don't think it's 40 each, I think it's 20 in each bay. So it would be 40 in the two bays combined. So, yeah. That's 20 in each one, so two and three would be a 40 total. So that's correct then. That's correct. And so then these are making 600 per minute uh, copper wire. Is it just wire or is it copper wire? Just wire. And that's on a Mark V. And that is going to the main bus.
And that is going to reinforce iron plates. Stitched iron plates. Right, because that's the alternate recipe. Right, right, right. Uh, what tab is that on? This tab. Heavy modular frames production. So that's the stitch iron plates. There's the copper ingots. So this is actually not correct. The other thing is we don't have a lot of overflow happening. So that we've already got sorted. So this is not using the smelters at all, it's using refineries. So do I want to repeat all this? I probably don't need to. What were we on? Rocky Desert? Yeah. That's going to main bus and... Stitched iron plates, heavy modular frames. Give that a color, probably that. Pretty close. And all I need to do is figure out what is what main bus it's on now. Word Nerdify, good to see you. Meadow, thanks for the lurk, appreciate it. So now we just need to find those two. And I forgot how dizzy this game makes me sometimes. That's gonna go too. There's our 600 wire, or sorry, 1200 wire, cruising along. Should be pretty easy to spot. Going down. I'd say that's it there. Huzzah. So you are joining the center bottom two, at least for now. The problem is, of course, that sometimes we can have something on the belt to a certain point, and then it exits, and then something else can take its place. So I have not yet figured out how to illustrate that in my map of my main bus. Here we've got wire and wire and 
And there we have the wire exiting and going up. And then we should be able to see it going in. Unfortunately, the belts all have different numbers. Like it would be nice if we could have the belts always be full. But when you've got 1,200 needed, your belts are always going to be a little bit off. The thing is, I guess you'd have to plan your factory with numbers that would be factors of the belt speeds, which would be a huge pain in the butt. Uh, we do not appear to be having any problems. Iron plates are going up. I don't think there's any iron plates that are being stored. I think it's just all... Ooh, that's an interesting experience. It's fun. I think we've got iron plates. If I remember correctly, I had a little bin. So we are currently absolutely producing more than we need as they are being stored and destroyed. And that should be illustrated, I think, in... Oh man, I don't remember which one I did. Well, that's silly. Eight modular frames, 30 steel pipes. I want to say it's this one. But this is the one that looks like it's hooked up. 8, 30, 10, and 200. 8, 7. I guess I have to check the heavy modular frames. There's always something. Alternate heavy encased frame. 8, 10, 36, 22. So, 8, 10, 36, 22. Heavy encased frame. Heavy encased frame. Man, I really did not keep very good notes. I wonder if I was doing it this way at some point and then changed my mind. Iron plates. So it's uh, it is the, the alt. The alt is what we did. Why is it saying seven point five? Oh, I wonder if the recipe has changed. No, seven point five, nine point three seven five. That's correct. And I should have eight of these. Yep. Two point eight one three. Twenty two point five, that's right. Okay, that's what I've got. That's what this says. So South Lake Copper Smelting. This should be the 
rocky desert tab. And what I'll do is I'll actually indicate it is copper mine number seven. So I don't have to go looking for it. And what that should be is wire. And I don't think it, well, you can't combine them because we don't have a big enough belt. These never move the way that you want them to. Not big enough belt yet. You're right, Sandy. That's right. The the new if people haven't checked it out, check out the coffee stain, um, the coffee stain YouTube channel. They've got some cool stuff. The um, it was really cool to watch. Bits and total eclipse do like a breakdown of the video. So what this should be is. We'll do breakup of that. Uh, actually, this should be main bus. Forty assemblers. I feel like these are separated. I feel like we've sent six hundred upstairs and six hundred downstairs. These are going up. Uh, yes. So there are forty. All together. 20 up, 20 down. Correct. Okay, cool. What I feel like I want to do is add a line in here. Maybe two. Cool. So that now makes sense. I really thought that I had filled this all in. It feels very strange that I have not. I will not do this all on stream. I will probably do a little bit of this on my own.
The weird thing is, or the sad thing is, we may have to change a lot of it anyway, because as some of these amounts change, it's going to be a lot to adjust, but I feel like I, I need to be able to know where I am before I can know where I'm going, if that makes any sense. So this is not going to stitch iron plates, I don't think. That's just not happening. I guess that technically was supposed to be... So two is over here. Right? That's the output for two. Yep. And this is the output for three that goes that way. This is not the best design. I might end up hiding some of this. Yeah, the recipes have changed. There's going to be some stuff to fix. Totally. Totally, totally true. But I, like I said, this prep stream is... Well, there will be more than one. I think what we're going to do is I'm going to do Tuesday and Friday. So I'll do a little bit of Lego on Friday and then I'll do this again. I think that's the plan. This is 300 per minute, two copper wire, and that goes on to stitch iron plates. So this, I think, is the... This is feeding bay number one, I want to say. So number two is 300 per minute. goes over there. Oh, do they crisscross? They crisscross. That's annoying. Don't know why I did it that way. So this is going all the way down to bay number five. Four. Four was the one that wasn't used. So, not stitch iron plates, two copper wire, and this is A04. I really wish they would give you enough room to have a little space in there. Bay 4, Stator's Rotors. And then on to the Awesome Sink top floor. Double check that again. Staters and rotors. How can, I guess it's the capitals? Oh no, I don't have a space on it. Currently just being destroyed because we need to keep things moving in order to track problems.
That is not a staircase. <laughs> Okay, so that's where number one is going. Um, that's done. This is going to number four. That's leaving via the main bus. And then last but not least, this is actually going to stitched copper, stitched iron plates. This is being split. So some of it goes up. So this is one. Oh, this is why it was one A, because one B is probably upstairs. One B. Because this is only doing three hundred. Because there's only ten. So we've got 10 and 10. That is a silly thing to do. Maybe I should not call that. One A and one B. It's one, two, we did three, four. What did we say? Up here it's just five and six. Five and six. I may renumber these, but for now what I'll do is just grab the sign. Not enough access points. Just a little reminder that 1B is indeed upstairs. <laughs> yeah, I made it a little hard to move around because I haven't finished the stairwell, which is over there. At the two hour mark, thank you, Dan. Yes, I need to, uh, I need to wrap things up. But we've got at least that sorted. So 1A and B is the remainder. So what that means is um, the rocky desert here mm, I've got that wrong these can't be producing the full amount Oh, right. No, these are doing 600. And then it's only bay 2. Bays 3 and 4 are for something else. So it's only bay 2. Billy auto save. So on my sheet, this is incorrect. It is uh, 
phase 1a and 1b and bay 2. And that is only, yeah, so this is going to change that. Because this is actually copper wire, and that is phase three. And five. Two, three, and five, and six. Yeah, I'm probably going to renumber these later on. Five and six. So this is. Five and a six. And that's just going to an awesome sink. So This is actually being split. We've got 600 ingots coming out. Yeah, I'm missing. There's four belts, each with 300 on it. Yeah, I'll need to. Phase need. Detail. Yep, I think we have to separate. Right now we're doing 600 per minute, but there's two belts. So I think what we'll do is we'll... Um, We'll make sure that we know which which way things are going. Because what's happening is that this belt is being split into bay two and three, but I'm not showing that here. So we need to uh, need to sort that out. That's fine. Uh, that's not bad though, because that's, I mean, we basically went through almost this entire copper factory. The only thing I didn't really go track back was the source for these bays. We know that the refineries are coming from copper number seven. Uh, bays one, two, and three. All we have to do is, I guess, trace this back. Scavenger is bay one. And then it's copper one and two. And that's doing... Two and three. Man, like I just... Uh, you, you cross things over, but then your numbering stuff gets completely messed around. 
So one and two end up going into different smelter bays. And they're going to, yeah, this will need details as well. per minute one and two did they get combined they must have gotten combined along the way somehow see so, yep we'll have to figure what's going on there because it looks like we've brought it in on one belt and then we've switched it out to 300 and 300 And that would make sense. I bet if I checked copper one and two on the map, they each do 300. Yep, 300, and then this is probably number one. Yep, okay. Straight as an arrow, sort of. <laughs> cool. Uh, I am going to see if I can pass you along to somebody else playing Satisfactory, folks. I really appreciate you all hanging out this afternoon. It's uh, it's always good to see a number of people here for a new game or a new to you game, potentially. Had a couple of people that were excited that they did not know that I played Satisfactory. And I'm really looking forward to getting this up and running. Again, when we get to um, 1.0, we'll have to change some belts and, and recipes and things. We also will have a lot of different decorative things to decorate the factory and have it look more like Devastator, more like the Transformer. So that's going to be really cool. Uh, let's just see who's live. We can pass you all along. Let's see who's playing Satisfactory. There's been a number of people cropping up in my, my list that have been playing Satisfactory, although it does not look like there's many people on right now. Mostly Minecraft, as a matter of fact. Wow, like everybody's playing Minecraft. Holy smokes. All right, well, I'll pass you along to uh, Scotsman UK, who is a fantastic streamer, member of this community, and playing some Minecraft. I'm sure you will all feel right at home. Do check out the Spawn Chunks podcast. I didn't mention that much today because we were playing Satisfactory, but there's a new Spawn Chunks podcast just out yesterday, and that is at the Spawn Chunks on YouTube as well as uh, anywhere you get your favorite podcasts. Check out the Patreon. It's one of the best ways to keep me streaming. If you want extra streams like this on Tuesdays, then um, that's the best way to keep it happening is uh, check out the Patreon. It's just less than one cup of coffee per month, and it really does help me a lot. So please check that out. I would very much appreciate it. Mind Trip Media, thanks for the bits. Sweet Sandy, thank you for the moderation on the off day. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all tomorrow for Minecraft. One o'clock Atlantic, UTC minus four hours on a Wednesday. Bye for now.